over $150 per, per share <laughs> to return it back. What the heck? Okay, I know it's weird to start the video, but I'm literally on the creaky staircase. <laughs> I thought I should give you a quick update on what has happened so far. We've got a few key pieces, more pieces in, so I thought I'd just video it for you. Michael is in the process of stripping the stairs. Look, let me show you, right here. They are, don't worry, we haven't painted the walls or anything yet. This, you can see, is what they originally were, right there. That wood there is so nice. Um, and this is what was covering it. And on top of the paint was old carpet. So the carpet had to be stripped. Then this paint was showing, um, and Michael is going through the process of just using a paint stripper to get rid of the paint. Let me just spin you around so you can see. It just gives you an idea of what the original wood looks like. Look at that. I don't know, I feel like this is so much prettier than to cover, to cover it. This is an old house anyway, it's an old Victorian house. And I just think it's so so much nicer to just to show the original wood of the property because I think that's where the character is that's where the like the uniqueness of a home is it's like keeping it the way it was as much as you can as long as what is there looks really good obviously what do you think do you think that we should strip off and paint this black because I asked on Instagram so I'm curious to see on YouTube what you guys think do you like the idea of a black staircase? I don't know, it's not something that I'm 100% sold on. Let me just show you this properly so you can see. Again, excuse the crap here. <laughs> but this will all be white. This used to be multicolored, by the way. I like it to just stay wood because I think it just warms up the space having natural wood. And these are these were never painted by any of the previous owners of this house. So this is the original wood that's here and we want to also have the original wood. Tell me what you think, tell me in the comments below. Paint or just strip it and put a run. The floors were a true labor of love. They were originally old vinyl tiles and they had to be, am I right, Michael? Yeah. There you go. We stripped them off because we decided we wanted to have something nice here and we went with tiling and I love it look how good this came out and we that was our design the whole border and this kind of pattern inside Michael says this looks like a Chanel bag this border we designed that and came up with that and then we had it all laid down this actually shows what was under here before this was all originally blue it was blue here and it was orange up here so this is the design that we ended up coming up with and it came out so well the tile guy that we used to, to do this, he just did such a fantastic job just ripping all this up, um, not this, but obviously the old vinyl floors, stripping down to the floor beams, I think it is, then just re-flooring everything and then, you know, smoothing it all over and then getting the tiles laid. So it took a while for me to think of what tile I wanted, but I'm actually really happy with what we, we came up with. So this is the entrance to the um home <laughs> and this is the tiling so you can see it's michael going up there it's just so you get an idea of how everything <laughs> is we decided to have this really special tiling design done um we've always loved the words of the song and it means a lot to us so that's why we had this done and this is actually one piece this circle here is one long is one piece of tile so it came rolled up and you just roll it out. Um, I'll leave the account of where we got this from um, in the description box and I'll see if I can put their Instagram on the screen. They are incredible, they're so good and they do so many different designs. Oh These are the mini subway tiles. Right, but we didn't get them all as one little tiny piece. I think they're... Um... They were like... I forget what they are, marble or porcelain. I think they're marble. These are actually sheets. Um, so it just has the effect of looking like, you know, individually laid pieces, but they're not. Mm -hmm. And also these, these aren't old, are they? No, those are actually, uh, I think, restorate or antique hardware. Yeah, we haven't finished, obviously, because you can see the original color that was behind. Um, and this obviously, all, all this needs to be cleaned up. We have two doors. We've got that door here, and then we have this one as you walk in. And that one's got the window, and then you can see by the way, this uh, chandelier is from the kids section of Restoration Hardware. 
um, that's a very good tip for you to shop in the uh, kids section <laughs> um, because a lot of the stuff just like clothing it works for adults as well okay, so this is where Michael hangs out this is his like office space Hello, guys. <laughs> and this is how it's looking at the moment um, it's we still got a lot of work to do in here like there is honestly look there's a kitchen here that's not supposed to be here that needs to come out um, and then it will really be his proper space like big but in the meantime it's nice that he's got like his own little place and article had kindly given um him some just nice. furniture to just get started really so it's just not a blank slate so he picked you picked these out didn't you yes <laughs> everything he picked all of this so he picked Something out to compliment my nice little radiator there you go <laughs> So everyone knows about this flipping radiator. It ended up being in his in his office. Um, the lamp is article. The chair as well. He really liked this one. Um, yep. So he chose that and this table, which reminds me of a guitar pick. The shape of it. <laughs> um, it's really nice. Very easy to clean. Very contemporary style. And also this textured rug. He picked out in a neutral color and this matching. What do you call these? Buffet. Um, I guess. Stool. Yeah. And then like just look the I mean view. you can put you can put your foot on it um, you can sit on it whatever anyway it's one of those <laughs> so he got that as well so all of that is from article it's a good way to start off the room and this lamp is also from article let me show it to you it's like a gold kind of bronzy color that's the backyard you're seeing in the background I think it's a nice way to just offset something so contemporary against something so traditional <laughs> like the radiator but I thought this chair was actually a nice piece. You chose a good one, actually. So this is our bedroom. We haven't done much in this room at all. We're focused on other parts <laughs> of the house, but um, we do have this rug from Article, and it is the same as the inner living room, actually, and we love this rug. It's so nice. It's um, the same as the other one, like I said, um, So, but this one's in gray. Look how thick this is. I don't know if you can tell, but this is so nice. It's um, made in India. It is hand knotted and it feels fantastic on your feet, especially in the bedroom. And this is the entrance to the living room, it's the black saddle we have here. And this is uh, oak floors that we actually stripped. They were originally really dark. And I'll show you what they originally looked like color wise, but we sanded off the dark stain and it revealed a natural color of the oak, which is actually this color right here which I think is so pretty. Sofa wise, we wanted something that was very modern. So we chose this particular one um, from Article and I'll leave uh, the name of it on the screen for you. I have to say that this is so comfortable. I posted this on my Instagram and a couple of you said that, you know, you're really asking about just the comfort of it. And honestly, it, it is comfortable. Um, I've fallen asleep quite a bit on it. It has a really long depth, like this way. It was really, really like, I, I don't feel like I'm being shortened. You know what I mean? Like, it feels really generous. Um, and it does feel almost bed-like. And it's, it's just so, so comfortable. So it's firm, but it's soft at the same time. And it holds its shape. So if you're looking for something that's like very contemporary shaped, um, just classic, something you can just dress up yourself with any kind of like throw cushions and pillows and throw, you know, blanket. I forgot to also say that these throw cushions, they came with the sofa. So same color as the sofa, this one, and then obviously this one over here. Um, the covers are removable, so you can wash it. So that always helps. I like how it looks with our wood side tables. These are the ones that we got from um, the local park. It was a tree that had fallen and we just um, you know, stripped the bark off, treated it and used it as a side table. This is one of two of the same rug from Article that we have. The other one is in the bedroom in gray. We took this neutral kind of goes with everything shade for the living room and it is one of the best, if not the best thing outside the sofa from Article. This, it's so nice. It's like I said, it's, it's hand woven from India, uh, handmade, hand, just all natural basically no no machining used with it so it, it and it feels it like it's so soft um i love walking barefoot on this because the texture of it feels nice under your bare foot and i love how the texture looks just in um, a living room for the corner we swapped out our large leather club chair for something smaller we wanted a, a much more contemporary style accent chair so this one from article was perfect i love the the wood like the way this goes like like 
across and then down like that. I like the angles of it. Very contemporary feeling. And the leather, very comfortable as well. I thought at the beginning it felt a little bit stiff, but it's broken in so well. It was just what we were looking for for the corner. So if I'm sitting on the, oh, I'm sitting on the sofa right now. This is the view you can see with it right there. Don't mind the TV, we haven't sorted out getting a stand or anything for it. Um, but you can see the entrance to the front door right there and the tiling. But that's the kind of vibe that we've got. Which I, oh, the way you've got like the light coming in from the window. The window's right there. There, see? Oh, I just really like that. And we're still going, look. Can you see? Yeah, of course you can. Look at that. Oh my god, that's sitting there. Uh, it's just cardboard, just random cardboard boxes. And we have a coffee table now, which is great. That was a saga in and of itself, by the way, this coffee table. It is from... I, I don't know if I should even go into it. I didn't like the colour of it originally when it first arrived because it was supposed to be a lighter colour and it arrived and it's almost like this kind of taupe grey colour. I didn't think it was going to be. So, I was going to return it and... Then it's a whole saga you know what i'm not going to talk about that in this video um but for now we have kept it we did go to um, the local uh, brooklyn place i'm going to put their name on the screen that's the one that we um have used already for the bathroom renovation which is going to be a separate video all in of itself but we tried to see if they could give us a lighter colored wood table and they did and i saw one that i loved i'm going to put it on the screen for you here but the reason we didn't go with it is because um the weight solid solid wood not hollow because a lot of um furniture is hollow and it's hollow because it's more functional for the average family to pick up and move around because people tend to move their furniture around in their rooms um, and if you use like solid wood that just weighs like 500 pounds it's not going to move you're just going to leave it there forever we calculated with the with the shop how the the total weight of that table being solid timber and it worked out to be like between 200 and 300 pounds that's too heavy for michael and i to be lifting around we actually do love this table that i love that about it all this that kind of distressing the way oh it's so good and we could if we wanted we could actually sand with this low profile something modern um yeah and it kind of balances out the chandelier that we have here contrast it with underneath it is a contemporary coffee table which is exactly what we wanted i thought we should share some tips that we have gone through with this whole decor process so just and renovating in general so i've written them down they're on my phone so we're just going to go through them together with um well michael's got some wine yeah it's been a long week <laughs> upon me upon week upon, 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 week. upon yeah. month <laughs> upon month Okay, so these are our tips on these things that we've learned. We're not, by the way, any like, we're not professional designers, we're not professional, like, we're not contractors or anything like that. We're just like two people who wanted to fix up our Victorian house. How old is this house, did you say? 1904. It's not a new house, a new property. It is, it's old and so therefore it comes with its own um, issues really because of that. Well, I mean, can, it can. old homes are, yeah, just old homes in general. There's always going to be surprises, things that people have covered up in the past. Yeah. Um, mistakes. <gasps> well, I mean, there's, there's also the dangerous things, like maybe an outlet that, sh that was covered behind a wall or... Yeah. You find, like, I mean, have you found that? Not here, but like this house, 1904, had gas lighting. And gas lighting... So that means that each overhead area in this house actually has a gas line pipe that goes to it. Wow. Oh, wow. So when they converted to electricity, they left all the original gas pipes in place. Okay. So they're still there. So they're all still there. So you have to right. make sure that when you go to open up and put electrical up in there, you need to make sure that like there's no gas leaks. Right. But you just never know. So you have to be cautious. Old homes have surprises. Yeah. And yeah. good surprises as well. Which that's a good tip. <laughs> yes, so that's a good tip for you right there. I, I feel like there's a tip in there somewhere. Just to be aware, if you're buying yes. a, an old home, be aware of things like what Michael just said. I'll put it, a clip in this video of the pantry door. Now that pantry door, we didn't buy that. <laughs> the house provides. It was 
buried in a wall upstairs. The door that is now our pantry door in the kitchen. Ironically, it was with glass. With glass. Unbelievable. The glass is in perfect condition. And um, Michael had somebody, we've got a really good uh, carpenter. And he literally just undid the door, like just took it out of the wall. Old homes tend to have a natural appeal. That's one of the reasons why you live in it. And it's nice to just leave that and let that show and emphasize it and lean into that into Speak, it. Speaking of old homes, salvage. Always think about architectural salvage. And I know I'm not sure if you have that on your list. A good example is like we wanted to replace one of the interior doors. And you know, due to COVID right now, it's four to six weeks to get a door delivered. And yeah. I and I'm thinking to myself, and don't get me wrong, it's it's not just going to be a flat door from Home Depot. Right. We wanted something to match. Yeah. And and it's a simple door, but four to six weeks. Yeah, exactly. And the price. So yeah. oh so <laughs> we went to uh, Big Reuse, is that what it's called? Yes. They, yeah, they're an architectural salvage place. Yep. They are amazing. I'll see if I can insert some footage of, of us going there. Oh my gosh, it, it's just fantastic. Everything from previous old homes and, and new homes, all a mishmash and Michael found a door. We took the measurements with us of our bathroom door and he found the right door because we want to replace the bathroom door and he found the right one and it's panelled and it cost $50. That's how you save. And it's still old. has the original old hardware on it. Yeah. So it's all that off of it. Oh, it's Don't so get me good. wrong, you have to put some work into it. You know? Yeah, so yeah that's true. Strip the hardware, take all the paint off, get it cleaned down. And mm -hmm. it, it, but it's a project. Yeah. And in the end, I know, you get a great door. So shop around, there are dupes for almost everything. Um, and I agree, there are everything, this table, everything, everything that you are looking to get, don't just fall for the first place you've seen it. Look around, Google is your best friend, Pinterest is your best friend. Based on your budget, pick the one that you want. And that's kind of that's kind of it, right? Mm -hmm. I've got delivery times. Hmm. Yeah, you're okay. Boy, boy, boy. Scheduling <laughs> is be prepared. During COVID, be especially. prepared. Well, yeah, it's depending if you want things to be very specific or you know, just just plan ahead and know that it's at least four to six weeks for anything that you want. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just and that's for everything. So it's important. Yeah. To, when speaking of planning, you know, it's important to plan out every. Thing, like say if we're in a room and you're doing either the kitchen or you're doing a bathroom, you know, plan out all the elements of that because yeah. the tile is going to take so long to get. It's not time. Um, if you want a specific colored fixture, that's going to take so long to get. Yeah. And, you know, but obviously you compromise those kind of things. <laughs> but you know, there yeah. are going to be. You know, this, we, yeah. we did something special in our bathroom, so that took time. Yeah, that took time as well. Um, the gold lamp that I showed you in a video a couple of weeks ago when I went to Crate and Barrel. Remember that one, the mushroom lamp? I'll insert a picture of it here or some footage. Um, that one. Oh, here. Just put it over my face. <laughs> that one. Um, I, I almost bought it. I'm actually glad I didn't buy it anyway. But the point of that was that I asked um, them how long, you know, to get that. Oh, right. February. <laughs> next, February 2021. To get a flipping table lamp. And that's a table lamp. Right. So that just goes to show COVID. It's a badass table lamp, but I mean, really, February? I'm not, I don't need it that bad. Find a local store outside of the usual Home Depot. Don't always rely on Home Depot because I know a lot of people fall into that trap. We do. I mean, that's obvious. I think Lowe's it's a good place and to Home stop. Depot are one of the first places. And it's natural. There's nothing to, that's fine. That's, that's normal. You it's know, we all do it. Start. It's convenient. And there's also certain things you're going to get from home. Yeah, and I do have a good selection, but it doesn't necessarily have everything because I think, because Michael made this point, this tip, um, we were looking for a tile for the bathroom, which I will show you in another video because we've actually finished it. We went to Home Depot, looked at all of the tiles, but then we also went to a local tiling shop and we ended up getting the tile we wanted. Home Depot didn't have it. Um, but I did discover. Yeah. And, yes. Because we live in New York, so unfortunately, New York doesn't have every store that all the other states have. Yeah. But New Jersey is just over the water. Yes, and we and did go. They have what's called floor and decor. 
Oh, yeah, that shop, that big place. Yeah. It's almost like a Costco, but for tiling. Oh my gosh, this place was massive. So we went there and we got, we saw so much, so, so much. I actually showed you on the video before. Blown away yeah. the selection. I would say. Um, I think the main thing I would say is if you get um, an estimate on how long something's going to take, like if you're doing renovations, double it. It's not going to take how long they say. If yeah. they say, oh, how long does it take for us to get our kitchen done? Or living room, or bedroom, or insert room. Um, and then they say, three oh, weeks. it's going to take about three weeks. Yeah. It's going to take at least six to seven to eight weeks. Okay, just letting you know that from now. But, um, you know, to be fair, a lot of times, and that's why I think planning is important, is that a lot of times people want to jump into a project and have someone just, just do it. And then all of a sudden you're in the project and you start changing your mind. And you think, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Well, that delays things. Yeah. And I don't think people understand that some of it's self-inflicted and it's okay. But understand from a, to your point, from a budget perspective, you might think it's going to take three weeks, but just know that they could run into a problem mm. yeah. with going through the construction process or it could be you changing your, your mind about something that you wanted. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it and I did that. I changed my mind about when we were doing the kitchen. I've changed my mind at least twice, and I'm still changing my mind up to now, even today. That's why I say plan ahead. You know, try and get as much of it designed yeah. out that you want. Like you said, pick a theme. Start specking out the types of materials you want. Even look at, like, trying... I think they have some websites out there that you can kind of mock stuff together. But, yeah. To your point, just buy sheets of tile, like one sheet of tile. Put yeah, it on we the did floor. that. Just you to know, see. Buy a tile that you're going to have in your bathroom wall and just one sheet. Put it up on the, the, the wall or however many you need to help you visualize mm -hmm. what it's going to look like. And when you do that, you're going to set it on the floor and say no. Yeah. Or you're going to look at it and say yes. And another tip I will give you, I just thought about it, is don't rush this process. It takes time. Yeah. It's very tempting, and I've been tempted, and I know a couple of friends who are guilty of having fallen to that trap of you want it over and done with, and you know you'll buy everything for a room, the sofa, the table, chairs, da -da 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 -da, media unit, you'll do, you know pictures, cushions, and then you'll realize, oh, crap, I didn't really want that. That doesn't really go with that, and you because you want it to just be over with. Just take your time. It's that's the and that's the hardest thing to do, I think, is to be able to exercise that patience. alone. Patience. Um, we we're not finished, and it's going to take time before we are. And I'm quite fine with this process and this pace because the more time you take, the less mistakes you're likely to make. Yes. So just Hence bear planning. that in mind. Hence planning, because things that I have bought that I no longer that I regret. It's because I rushed those things, wherever they were. Um, the bar stools that we had, we had bar stools for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We don't, we still don't have bar stools for the kitchen. Why? Because I'm taking my bloody time. I don't want to make a second mistake. I got ones before and I, I didn't like them. They're too, too gaudy gold. And I didn't like that on the website. That's another thing. The websites don't yeah. often look exactly the same as the, the, the piece that you get. Like we wood got finishes. wood finishes look different. This coffee table was different on the website than it is in person. Mm -hmm. um, the kitchen bar stools that we don't have anymore, we turned, returned back. They looked different on the website. Um, we have two, a pair of dining chairs, chairs. They're not going to be the final dining chairs we have. They're wishbone again, chairs. But way. again, they were not the same. So just make sure you have a good return policy if you're going to be buying yeah. something online that you haven't That's seen. That's a good tip because... Because if you haven't seen it, you're going to want to return it if you don't like it when you get it. Co and correct. Check that. That's a tip that I'm giving to you, which is um, to learn from our, my mistake. I ordered these two dining chairs. Um, like I said, they're wishbone style because I like that style of chair. But the wood color wasn't the one I wanted. Um, and it well, was not what was on the website. It, exactly, it was different. It didn't match to what I ordered. And so Karen's like, so, right, let's just return. Right, so we, we right packaged lines. it all carefully back up. It's over $150 per, per chair, chair. <laughs> to return it back. What the heck? I mean, I'm just going to sell them online. It helps if you have um, a website 
that's where you're buying something from that has customer reviews and allows for the customers to insert photos that they've taken, real life photos of the actual piece in their home because those are more, more accurate. I will say, that's a good Those good are more accurate, point. They're than, very accurate than the actually. website photoshopped image They're of very... that chair or bed or. Um, yes. I think good one. I think that is those are the main things that I can think of. You sure? There's probably more. I'm sure there's more. There's always and you yeah. know one thing we didn't talk about. What? Contractors. Okay. Okay. You have two options. You can be the contractor, or you hire a contractor. Right. Now, what does that mean? A contractor is basically someone who has their own team of electricians, plumbers, carpenters. Um, whatever is needed to get the job done. That's where a designer comes in, and it just depends on budget. But I think for a lot of people, you can take on that role of being a designer. You be the contractor, but think and plan ahead, and think about who you're gonna need, and tell everybody who you hire. Sorry, tell the plumber, the electrician, and the carpenter, mm -hmm. you are the contractor. You're the general contractor, okay. and you're working with these guys, and you don't have experience. The plumber needs something, that the carpenter can do, mm -hmm. let them know that he needs to convey that to you so that you can relay it to the other person because they're not gonna take the initiative to say, oh, is this done for me? You, as the contractor, have to make sure that it's done for yeah. them and it's ready for them. Well, I think that is everything. Um, I wanted to just do a video that was really just, you know, the, the, the things that we've learned so far with doing this, this house um, and yeah, just where we are at the moment. There will be, like I said, a part two of the kitchen makeover because I promised I would do that for you at the end of part one. And part one is linked for you below, like I said. If you have a specific tip that has really helped you, maybe there's a mistake that you made and you're like, God, yeah, I have others. to tell, I have to tell you a lot. Leave it in the comments below because I think it's really nice to have this video as like a reference guide for everyone in the comments to say, oh, this happened to me or you should definitely do this, do this, do this. I recommend doing so and so. Um, yeah, that way it's like, yeah, you're helping me as well because I'm going to read to see what, I want to see what you guys said. But, um, and feel free to ask me questions too. Oh yeah, and you can reach out to Michael and ask him questions. He does not, you will Reach out, just he will comment, check. comment below. <laughs> yeah. And then and Karen will tell me and I'll... Yeah, yeah, I'll show him. I'll show him. He, well, he'll look. She's not going to show you. He'll look and see what the comments are. So if you've got any specific questions to ask Michael, do. Because he's actually... he does not, He's not said it, but I'm going to tell you guys on this video. Michael used to work offshore on an oil rig. And he was a carpenter. Am I right? Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You didn't know that, did you? You thought he was just like a cooking guy. Like, into cooking. <laughs> but yeah so um yeah so if you've got any kind of questions god i'm sorry You're funny. <laughs> just leave them leave them below or just send a message to to me on instagram um and my name is karen bridget anyway that's it give this video a thumbs up if you did get some ideas and some tips you know throughout the waffling that was going on i'm sorry and yeah subscribe to this channel if you have not already and you can follow us on instagram i say us because i've been showing michael a lot on my instagram um, and stories and stuff like that the renovations and anything that we've been buying it's going up on instagram first it's because on my i'm in charge of all the renovations that's why i'm actually on the channel yes because <laughs> uh, he, he knows the whole technical side I, yeah <laughs> so um yeah so he's good with that but karen britchick if you want to Follow along there, and that's it. I will see you guys on Friday. Take care, my loves. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.